Hello dear friends of X-Plane 11. Today we have a little adventure in the Arizona area of the Grand Canyon and I'm using a fixed wing aircraft. Have a lot of fun. So we are here at a place called Grand Canyon Caverns and we are not far from the Grand Canyon and we will now take off and fly through the canyon to show you off some of these beauties of this area. Today I'm using this T-34 Mentor. It's an airplane from the Navy. I like it. <laughs> and of course, what does a Navy plane here in Arizona? That's easy to explain. I'm coming from a naval air station on a navigation round trip to improve my navigation and knowledges. So that's the whole story behind it, why we use a Navy aircraft here in the Grand Canyon area of Arizona. But without further ado, let's take off and go to the canyon. So, engines are running, everything is honky dory. By the way, it's the T-34C Mentor, but in the variant of Lukash, which means when we pull the lever the back, it gives a little bit of reverse elements. So we we can't pull the lever, the throttle full back, otherwise we will stall. Okay, so release the brakes and we go ahead through this nice area. Don't touch this Piper or Chesna, sorry. Look at this wonderful vegetation here in Arizona. By the way, I installed yesterday the auto photos for the Grand Canyon area. And I give you all the information in the link below also for these little airports here. So let's break a little. The runway is over there. So we have to turn. The reverse thrust is not working to stop stop the aircraft when landing or so but to reduce some of the speed because we don't have any speed brakes in this aircraft okay that's all the secret behind it there's the windsock This is this is a little airstrip to visit the caverns in down in the Grand Canyon. Okay, let's line up for takeoff. There's no line, but we line up. So look at this 
beautiful vegetation here. There's a tree in our way, but I think that's just no problem. So I love to fly with the open canopy. It's warm here in Arizona. Look at these wonderful trees and ha ha. Wonderful, wonderful. It's looking like an arty show. <laughs> so, we are ready to take off. Down here we see we are taking off in this direction. And the Grand Canyon is here where this little river flows down in the valley. And here we are and the white or the bright area is the Grand Canyon Valley. Deep, deep, deep. I've once been there and I was really impressed when looking down. I didn't fly over it, just looking from the road side. Okay, no further ado, let's throttle up, release the brakes. We don't need, normally we don't need flaps. So, let's pass this tree. hundred miles that's our rotation speed roundabout and up we go gear up we don't have flaps so we have to go this way I think I reduce a little bit the propeller speed, not to over torque it and save some gasoline. So that's more or less okay. Temperatures are all okay. Fuel flow, prop speed, very good. So ahead of us is the ten past ten in the morning. It's a nice aircraft, this T-34 Mentor. It's paper aircraft and I put the link in the video description below. It was originally sold for X-Plane 9, then beefed up to X-Plane 10, but you have to transfer it with two times plane maker loading and saving X-Plane 10, X-Plane 11, then you have it. Okay. This is not yet the Grand Canyon. It's ahead of us. 
That's Arizona. I've been many times to Arizona in my life and it's just wonderful. To many different places. Two hundred knots, and we fly six thousand seven hundred feet above the ground, not above the ground, above sea level. We don't have a radio altimeter in this aircraft. So we are reaching now the Grand Canyon. This is just so gorgeous. There's the river down in the valley. Let's slow down a bit. Um, I'm returning the... You see the speed dropping? It was not reverse. <laughs> you can't give reverse in, in air mode, but you can switch through propellers to give some thrust to the back. Now to the front, of course, to break you. Wonderful nature of Arizona. Very dry. Not far from here is also Las Vegas and maybe we will end our flight in Vegas. I will see. Okay. more or less enough from this part of the canyon. I will do the prop pitch to full. We need to climb a bit. Hopefully we will get out of here before we crash into the 
cliffs of the Grand Canyon. Okay, this was done. Temperature is rising. I have to be careful. So here we are up again on the plateau. And now I will start the next flight from the next airfield, which is, by the way, wonderfully constructed and built by somebody. I put the link in the description below. It's really worth it to download it, even without the, the huge pack of of this auto for x-plane it's a 30 gigabyte 330 gigabyte of data just for the can canyon area somebody who loves to fly here is it's okay but it takes a lot of work to install it to transfer to to convert the jpeg files to dds files I had it had the computer running overnight to do this and uh, I think when I've done, I've done I'm done with this uh, video I will uh, save it somewhere this 30 gigabytes but I need the space for other things so but it's really it's it's worth it if you are Arizona flyer it's a must have and also the three airports or it's six airports in total it's a must for everybody to download it even without this auto it's it's nice to see okay without further ado I will jump now to the next airport to see it The Grand Canyon Bar 10 airstrip. So here we are. Oh, the power was full on. Okay, so here we are in this nice area. There are many, many airports or airfields in this area. Some are only for helicopters, but some are really nice to fly. So we've been down here last time, and now we are on the other side of the Grand Canyon and we explore a, a different area, okay? Remember, we've were down here, explored this part, now we are here but first of all let's go out check our aircraft everything is honky-dory there are people standing here with the dog who no yeah everything is okay 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 I'm, I'm jumping in my aircraft soon so and there's a lot of people around here playing games, sunbathing and enjoying life near the Grand Canyon. Okay, 
Welcome to Whitmore International Airport, North Concourse Gate, elevation 4,100 feet. Okay. Let's jump into our aircraft. 4,100 elevation. Okay. It says 4,100. Okay, it's too. It's not too easy to. Roger. So, let's dive into the Grand Canyon at this place. This is the strip. We don't have to taxi somewhere, just giving power and off we go. No flaps, just speed. One hundred knots and we can lift off. Okay. Gear up. And we are already heading directly to the Grand Canyon, which is not far from here. So here I reduce a little bit the propeller RT, RT, uh, RPM. To be careful with the engine in this hot temperature area. What do we have? Okay, it's not too much. So there's our valley. Left or right? That's the question. We go right, okay? Nice textures, okay? Auto for XP. There are really caverns to see. So you see it's completely different from the other area we were before. Just wonderful. I think I lost the river. <laughs> we have to go that way. Otherwise we are in a one way in in, in a dead end area. Here's the river. Look at these colorful 
sandstones Okay, I could fly around for hours now, but for this video I, I think that's enough. We will try to land back on our strip. Wonderful, wonderful formation of stone. I will try to land now on this strip where we came from trying to use all my brakes to get it to a halt before we reach the end of the runway but first of all we look at this wonderful piece of nature in Arizona let's again reduce our RPM not to overstress the engine but everything is still okay Isn't it gorgeous? Not only the airplane, but also this landscape. Beautiful. The trim is optically somewhat out of order, but you can still fly it, okay? It's X-Plane 9 technology and I didn't have the time to test it with X-Plane Maker to So where's our airfield? Can't be far. My map tells me we are very close, but I don't see it yet. Ah, down there. So, let's prepare. 150 knots, we can lower our gear and 
used in as well as some some flaps that's enough otherwise we are ballooning up 100 knots is nice to come in it's how I feel doesn't it yes Yes, uh, I forgot the lamp, the landing lights, but I think that's not so important here in this area of Arizona. So we are down. to use the brakes in conjunction with the small reverse action okay this was the T34 in Arizona don't get too fast my dear So now you know why the Navy is exercising here in Arizona in the Grand Canyon, just for navigation purposes, you know. Okay, let's park somewhere here. are coming up okay reduce the mixture to zero to starve the engine <laughs> the trim wheel is somehow it's not working nicely So, the engine, everything is okay, so we can switch off generator and the battery, so cold and dark, but it's still very hot. Here we have it, wonderful tour and the Navy in Arizona in the Grand Canyon area so thanks for watching there are many many more places in Arizona to see and the in the video description below you can see the airports you can download it's wonderful to fly here okay thanks for watching and until next time BK